So there we go guys, we're all done and dusted with master mode and I'm really enjoying a lot of this kind of like Valor grinding. At the moment my Valor grind is looking quite good, it's like 3.2 mil, which is great. It does open up a lot of kind of uh, options when it comes to the Valor store, so I'm very much looking forward to spending all this. But I'm still kind of sticking by my pledge that only two to three days before I'm going to go on a big splurge because I'll have a load of Valor to kind of like spend on this stuff. And I'm still really deciding that what I'm going to be spending on. Largely, I think it will be a tier 4 class catalyst. Uh, it will be several tier 1 alphas because that's what I'm struggling with at the moment to get. And maybe uh, some 4 star shards. Thinking about it, I don't think 5 star shards are really an option for me. But uh, that's because I could, you know, two times in an arena a week I could potentially get that. So it may not be uh, of, of value. But going back to the the master mode itself, I'm kind of talking about the fights. Nothing was really overly challenging this time. Um, it was great to see, obviously, increase with regards to rewards, and we're going to be opening up the rewards a bit later on. But when it comes to rewards improvements, great, fantastic work, great work, Kabam, on that one. But when it came to the bosses, uh, this repeat boss thing is just becoming a little bit boring. This kind of idea that we have... You know, we have, what I think it's like the second release champion is always kind of like there on chapter two. And then finally there on uh, on chapter three. But it's like the repeat champions. It's like, yeah, you get to learn the kind of counters and stuff with regards to uh, like Hela in this kind of circumstance. And how I kind of like found her to be was just just fine i mean it's, if you're having problems with the projectiles then i would probably say use daredevil and the reason i did that video which was projectile evade and it was kind of uh, daredevil versus hella is that if you're struggling with the projectiles then make sure that you're using a good evader so your spider-mans your night crawlers she's not kind of overly stacked with regards to extra kind of abilities it's just really standard stuff but you can bring down stuff uh bring her down a little bit bring her down a few pegs for the guys to bleed because she bleeds but your choices are really there um i think i was using dormammu as well in order to kind of like just power locker and dormammu uh vision age of ultron if dormammu is in alliance wars then i would use vision age of ultron because power control you could even use uh limbo with magic but i really prefer to use like a rank 5 version i do have a rank 4 version which i could use but I don't think I really enjoy it quite so much. I really want to get that kind of level of pain uh, to the enemy and get that power locked and power burnt fast. Uh, Dormammu usually does that for me and in his place I enjoy a Vision Age of Ultron. That's one that I enjoy at the rank 5. Unfortunately the same principle kind of happened with the guards to Thor Ragnarok and the way we use power locking seems to be something that we need to do. Obviously this champion will reach a certain point after 20 hits when he'll start gaining a lot of power incredibly fast and in that time period you have to power lock it works about the same same amount to build an l2 by that time so you can power lock you may want to choose certain champions like psylocke you may even want to choose champions that power burn in shape or form of vision age of ultron because as thor ragnarok is gaining power fast you want to be suppressing that power so if you're struggling with him, then again, Vision Age of Ultron may be one that will be quite handy for this situation. Dormammu, uh, Psylocke, as we said, uh, Magic, obviously. Is there any champion that really kind of power locks, but you need to reach it fast? Vision Age of Ultron will reach it in the L1. I think I think Magic will reach it on L1. Um, Psylocke, I think, L1 as well. But Vision Age of Ultron, I, I know that being a good champion to use and getting that power burnt and kind of taken down fast. However, though, if you're looking for uh, kind of avoiding that that 20 hit, then it more than likely will be a case of using magic, building up to an L2 and applying it, and as well as using Psylocke and finally using Dormammu. Mainly I used Dormammu against Thor Ragnarok based on uh, power locking, had to power lock. You can find some kind of luck with scarlet witch but i wouldn't unless she's 99 and you get a bit of luck with regards to your your kind of power stealing and power draining and um you know all that kind of nice stuff then uh there's no point using her but uh, anything that power locks in an l1 and l2 perfect good for this right now let's uh, get all this stuff open so i've got some four star signature stones and some five star i think because i, I messed up on a uh, on a video uh, meant that I couldn't I then blasted all my four stars, which is a bit disappointing, but then that's just like how it goes sometimes it's a bit a bit annoying 
when you're doing YouTube and stuff that was new. I've had, have, had it several times. You just have to kind of like grin and bear it, really. Um, just to kind of let people know as well, this is like my week weekend, uh, my birthday weekend. So I'm not... And I'm doing a lot of kind of like editing for other things. So the kind of the, the videos are going to be a little bit kind of sparse, scarce even um, on the channel. But that's just then as of Tuesday of next week, I'm going to then hit it. Um, hit it harder so um, you're gonna see probably the 21st 22nd of November I'm gonna start back into video creation uh, I've got loads of things to do I've got like unboxings to do of like new kit that I've bought for the channel which is gonna be set up at the new end of the year there's a lot of things going on I'm ramping up the way that MCC news is kind of like seen by people and there won't be any MCC news over this time period just why make videos I'm making like these really funny family videos i'm doing stuff for like my family because two types of family are coming um on different days because families don't get on that's what happens when when people people divorce some side of families don't go on with others that's life welcome to life um so that's that's is what i'm up to at the moment i'm gonna pop the rest of these open the one things i care about are the next ones nothing really substantial that i want from here mutant ones are great for Wolverine, I want to improve his regen. So let's get these five star ones opened. Yeah, five star signature stones. Now I'm hoping a lot more cosmics. I really want to boost up my or increase signature level and then obviously theoretically boost up Captain Marvel. I'm going to put back on suicides and then uh, prepare for a massive hit on Arena and then a massive hit on Labyrinth for Legends over the Christmas holidays because like I'm going to take a break for a week and kind of improve the channel. I'll have content up whilst I'm, I'm doing this and then then kind of come back with some videos. Mm, Mystic's good. Right, okay. Mystic is fine because then that goes to Domamu but I'm still without a substantial tech on 5 star and a substantial skill i really want all my skill signature stones to go to blade but the reason i kind of go huh is because i doubt i will get a five star awakening gem unless cyber monday delivers and when this video comes out because i don't know when it'd be scheduled cyber monday may be a thing and if there's a five star generic awakening gem which i don't know whether if they will a lot of people's kind of thoughts on that is it's going to be stipulated for labyrinth for legends so there's like they don't want to understate uh, Labyrinth of Legends, so they won't ever introduce a five-star Awakening gem. However, if they're going to release six stars in the future, then that might have to be a thing. Oh, that's good. Right, that'll go to Dormammu. Dormammu's going to get a little bit of a boost there, so that's cool. Um, I'll probably wait to item use. I do stress that as well. If if you guys are doing item use and your and your alliance, you know, try and work together with stuff like so. You know when item use comes up that you all agree to then spend your items just to kind of make sure that you're hitting that 240 not 240 those 200 four star um shards still like a load of, i've got a load to skill but still like without get, getting that uh that blade obviously oh, want that blade we want blade five star awakening that's what we want so that has been a video it's just been a quick video a little bit of opening a little bit of talking about the bosses if you're not done with master hopefully like a few pointers will help you out uh, but anyway, thanks very much for ongoing support for the channel and uh, and and stuff. I, I'm uh, I'm gonna like chill. I'm actually watching Justice League at the end of the week, so uh, I'm really looking forward to that. That's gonna be amazing. And the Deadpool trailer's just been dropped, so that's pretty cool as well. So a lot of things going on. It's quite exciting. I just really wish I wasn't so busy and I could get really back into making a load of decent, high quality content because it will come. Uh, but thanks for your ongoing support. I've been Rich the Man, and I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye bye for now.